There's just something about beating that sun over the horizon. I really find it hits me when I'm looking for gold or hunting because I know I'm ahead of the game. And it just gets me excited and gets me keen to go explore. Got the sniping gear. I've actually left a little bit late and had some technical issues. But the phone was full of storage so I couldn't record anything. So I'm gonna head down to these creeks, jump in and see if we can find something. If we see a deer on the way, I'll have a crack, but um, you, that's the plan. i to get down to these creeks down the bottom here. It's gonna be all right on the way down, but coming back with a wet, wet suit, I'll be sooking for sure. Big stag is that one, Rick. Fuck. He's up here. I was torn. I told myself I was going to look for gold and I wasn't going to stop unless there was a stag or a red deer. So I had to give it a crack and try and call him in. Oh. By mimicking another male deer, sometimes a stag will run kilometres just to come over and protect his herd. I gave two calls over half an hour but got radio silence. Well, five days later, I've made it to the creek. With my sniping gear. And I made it early too. If you've just joined the channel, the last five days I was supposed to be looking for gold, but I'd been distracted by bow hunting and had the best bow hunting experiences I've ever had in my life. Make sure you check them out after this vid. So, I might just unpack some of my gear and make a lighter pack. I'll leave the bow here. Leave some of this weight here. And um, yeah, lighten the backpack, get in my wetty and um, walk downstream because I'm going to make it all turbid. So I just walked about a K down to see what was there. So there's a few nice bits. I'm going to get smashed by blackberries, but that's just part of it. All right, let's get in the water. Half on, head downstream, a couple of k's, and start working my way back up. There's probably about seven spots I saw, so I can look for gold. Sometimes I know when I'm hunting because it's open areas like this, you can glass all the hills. I was just wondering if someone saw me trying to get out of wet boots and pants. I mean, wearing for five days, get a cramp and roll around naked, <laughs> trying to get a wetsuit on in the middle of fucking Australia. Oh. I think I might need some new hobbies. Nah. This has been good fun. So that's just a sort of loose rock. We need bedrock. See out there the river kicks. It's a bit steeper. It's usually where there's bedrock. as I came on my little scout mission before. So I can definitely snipe up here. And um, I'm journey down this way there. I can't get through anywhere else because of the blackberries. Alrighty, it's time. There's one little deep hole here. I'd rather work this shallow stuff, but this is as far as I'm gonna walk. It's just too thick. So I'm gonna jump in here, let's see how we go. And the sun just poked its eyes through just as it's about to get in. It's not gonna last long, but God, that feels nice because it is already freezing. There was a lot 
of mud and a lot of silt, but straight away I saw this little edge, this line of rocks here, and I was like, this is where I'm gonna start. We are on here. First bit of gold. <laughs> Start with. Ew. So there's only that one little crack I could kind of work there. There's not much flow, so the water gets really stirred up, so it's pretty hard. I'm coming up to a little bend here. I'm hoping it's a bit more um, bedrock like. Even just here looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks real good. All right, have a crack here. For those of you new to the channel, the aim of the game here is to remove rocks and try and find the hard bedrock at the bottom. It's a lot of effort and I get super nervous when I'm doing this because sometimes like this, when I've moved a heap of rocks and you find a hard rock bottom V, that means the gold has to be trapped in this area if it's here. And it's super exciting. The gold's super heavy and malleable, so you gotta make sure you scratch all these rocks out and you'll find it just sitting on the clay at the bottom. Have you heard about summer snow? When it falls on you, your blood runs cold. I'm surprised I haven't found gold there. That's a big drop off and no one touched that, so. And I'll keep digging, I'll pull you in if I see something. And then two more scrapes, and there on the clay was my first little chunk of gold at this spot. I was just losing hope. That is sick. Ugh. Now the easy part. Grab the snuffer bottle and suck it up. Good old trusty tomato sauce bottle. Look at the colour of the water. I just got in here and just went nuts. And it's just settling and look at this. This was promising. A nice solid chunky bit of gold. <laughs> it's getting better. The area was all hard bedrock, and on every little crack filled with green and grey clays, I was finding little chunky bits of gold. For those who have watched the last four episodes, I got access here in hope of working the main river below the property. But due to flooding, the creeks feeding the river were all full of water. Along with that, the property was full of critters, so I had been distracted and been bow hunting deer and goats for the last five days. I was in heaven. I couldn't believe that I was finding gold at a new spot and the day just kept throwing up more and more surprises. With every bit getting chunkier and bigger, I was on to a little payload here. It was below 10 outside. The river was freezing, but I couldn't feel a thing. I was getting so excited. Gonna make a mess and clean all this black crap off again. It does look nice like that, but I was about to just create a mess and clean all this black crap away. I couldn't believe it. There's just a little ledge here and some gold sitting on it, and then this happened. proper picker appeared. I couldn't believe it. I was just in this weird little creek that would only flow when it's flooding and here I was just cleaning up on gold. I was starting to get so excited and it didn't stop here. <laughs> the 
goes from this to... <laughs> it's insane, eh? Clears right up. All right, I'm getting back in there. I was just starting to find the gold. Oh, there's a tool I lost. With every bit of gold that goes up that snuffer bottle, it's like a penny dropping in my bag. stirred up. I just try to clear a heap more of this black soily rock and I also did a little bit of clearing here so I can get in soon and check that. But I'm going to have some soup. It is chilly. It's actually the first day the sun's been out so it's actually quite nice. I'm like getting my wedding and warming up. But I'm gonna get my cooker out. Have some noodles. Chicken soup noodles. Look at the speed those clouds are moving. It's pretty insane. Must be super windy up the top. They are flying. Well, that's been a pretty successful morning, really. Um, just been in this little hole here. Had a few goes down there, nothing. Found one little bit of gold, then kept going, and um, yeah, found a few nice bits now. So, um, pretty stoked. You know, when you're just in the middle of nowhere and stuff like that happens and you come onto some gold, it's a pretty cool feeling just from looking at a few little maps and seeing some, there used to be some gold mines up in these hills. So yeah, I'm pretty stoked. Thought I just heard a goat or something. But um, yeah, I was just waiting for this um, water to clear up so I'm gonna have some chicken noodle soup and because there's no weight in these I just get these um, Asian noodles and chuck them in as well so there's a bit more fill you up a bit more Ooh -hoo -hoo. but yeah Few nice bits of gold, pretty stoked with that. Also just found some cut grass. I looked at this grass and was like, oh, it looks like cut grass. Moved it, it's definitely cut grass. Super weird. I cleared all this real shallow stuff and I'm just finding heaps of little gold. I'll show you. I was just getting all tiny bits and then I just wiped my hand down and that was just crazy. Well, I'm gonna keep doing all that shallow bit then. Work in the shallows led to this crack and it just kept getting better and better. <laughs>
down to the end of this crack and I'd swap tools to my tiny scraper and then I bumped into this. They're a bit chunkier, those pieces. And just when I thought it couldn't get any better, a little wave of the hand and three or four chunky pickers just appeared. This is why I love looking for gold. <laughs> Found a fair bit of gold just then. Which is pretty cool. It's a random little creek on this hunting property. Um, I hope someone's hunting right now and looking at me through binos going, what the hell is this guy doing? Um, let's go check out another spot. I think it was on this bend. Let's go up here a little bit. Yeah, there was another little um, bend where there was a heap of bedrock. So we'll go check that out. This is that other spot. I don't know, it doesn't look that good now. I don't know if that's bedrock on the other side. I think it's just pebbles. Not pebbles, I think it's just rocks. Oh. Well, it's one o'clock going pretty hard since five. Did pretty good, found some gold. You're gonna be stoked with that. Um, I'm gonna have a quick cook up, it's one o'clock, have some noodles. Try and let this stuff dry a bit. I'm gonna get up this hill then up the top. So probably get up there around four o'clock. Uh, might even just dump my pack and just go sit on that hill and see if I can get a big boar. I've been seeing them run along there at night, so. Might do that, otherwise I might just sit there and have a beer because that has been a pretty sick day. Round two of chicken soup noodles. Mainly less weight I have to carry. I'm gonna drink a heap of my water too. Plus it'll be delicious. And why not sit and enjoy chicken noodles chicken noodle soup down by the creek. I always wrote these things off. I thought they were the biggest like wanky YouTube, Instagram, I'm camping bullshit, but um, they're actually so sick. I don't know, it's funny. I always am kind of rushing to get home to eat. You know, I'll just push through and now with this, I'm just like, I was just thinking it then, I was like, 1.30, why not just sit down here, have have the food I brought, and then just slowly make my way home. Well, that was sick. I'm always stoked when I find gold because even if it's just one piece, you just, just to know that this whole little creek must just be full of gold. You just gotta find the right little zones. I'm not, I, that was just one, kind of crack one area I was working. I think because it was falling over the back of that um, bigger rock there. It was probably like a low pressure zone. But um, yeah, there'd definitely be more up this way. And the other thing is, if a fire came through and wiped all this blackberry out, the blackberry actually covers the river in a lot of spots. So you can't find, like see where the bedrock is. Time to put wet gear in this. Into that and start climbing. Oh, yeah. 
down this gully. Up that bad boy. Down over that one. Up over the next one. The house is just kind of on the hill on the left. Unfortunately, it's still a long way away. That killed me today. I think I'm finally exhausted. Oh, yesterday's goat mania has just pushed me over the limit. These wet wetties now. Oh. All right, come on, half an hour. I was almost home and I could smell goat, so I locked in an arrow just in case. And then this happened. It was this guy's lucky day. He saw me draw and took off. Oh, some nice gold there. You cannot complain with that. Some of these bits are a bit, um, pretty solid. A bit of weight to them. It's really um, rough gold. We should have spent more time down there doing this than hunting. Six hours in behind Sydney. <laughs> Freezing cold creeks. How's that? Cracking. Oh, I was completely exhausted, but right on dark, I decided to go for a quick walk. I can't fit at this episode, so you have to stay tuned next week to see what happened. I came across something amazing. I was called for a look at the goal. How's this? I was just taking a new path. There's a goat here. Like, nice billy too. I had no idea at this point, but this thing was a freaking monster. He is huge. Alright, so we've got zero on the scales. Here's the gold from that trip. One point three. Sick. You can see it was nice chunky gold. But um yeah, first time going to a little creek that I had no idea about. Oh, I cannot wait to get back there. Hopefully I get some rain again. We can go hard.